We are back with another episode of the Royal Family. In this episode, Princess Cora is about to give birth. Um, and she was just standing there with the Grim Reaper. That was super freaky how he just disappeared like that. Um, so we actually, in the last episode, since it was so cold, we just had someone die from the freezing weather, um, just like Queen Isabel. So I changed, I used our weather machine to change it to hot weather. So now everyone is in their hot weather outfits, um, even though it is winter and there are still hints of snow outside. But it does look like the snow all went away. Oh my gosh, look how pretty the night's... Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Have you guys ever, like, looked at this before? This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I've never done this. I'm sorry, I'm getting way off track, but this is beautiful. The stars are so pretty, and there's, like, a full moon and everything. Okay, all right, I'm sorry, I'm done. Um, so Princess Cora is about to give birth. Um, it looks like King George. Oh, it looks like King George came by. So they just had the coronation ceremony for, um, she's not an emotion bomb. Um, they just had the coronation ceremony for King Henry the Fourth and Queen Alice. So it looks like King George came by to kind of see his son, um, to turn into the king. So that's really touching. Oh my gosh. I didn't actually see about the coronation ceremony, but it literally, like, the coronation ceremony just ended. Um, I'm restarting, like, this video immediately after. So, um, or I started this video immediately after. Sorry. I just, like, if you guys ever catch, like, weird things that I say sometimes, sometimes I don't even catch it until I have edited a video, and then I'm like, wow, I said something really weird, and I didn't even catch myself when I said it. So I apologize if I say anything really confusing that just doesn't make sense. I feel like just, like, words come out of my mouth sometimes, and I can't really, like, catch myself or anything. So I will, I will definitely try, though. Uh, but, so, it looks weird to have everyone in their hot weather outfits, but... It's fine. Um, I, do, I might change Princess Chorus because I feel like this is a little scandalous, but we'll have to see. Like, Nina's is nice. This is Queen Nina, so hers is pretty nice. So, Princess Cora, I thought she was, like, super close to having a kid. She should be. She should be having the baby, like, any minute now. Um, so we'll just have to see. But she's here. She's hanging out. It looks like the whole family is actually here. Queen Elena has become an elder, and so has King, um, oh, King Derek. They're just standing in the bathroom together. This is really, really creepy. Why is this so weird? Oh, my gosh. Oh, her eyes are moving, too. That's really creepy. Oh, gosh. I don't know if you guys saw that. Um, they can, like, maybe they need to be reset or something, because I don't know why they're just standing there. So, yeah. She's, like, standing on a plate, too. All right, well, we're going to move on because I don't want to look at them. They look a little creepy. Um, and then we have King Derek is down here. I don't like his hot weather outfit. I think that needs to be changed. It's not really something that a king would wear. Um, but it looks like we have, like, a whole party going on down here. So I think we had a – oh, I thought, like, we had a powerhouse gathering – but I guess we don't anymore. We also need to add, so we have like a kings and queens. Um, oh, I guess I can't add them because I'm not the leader. But we need to add, uh, which one trigger? We need to add, um, oh shoot, I'm forgetting the names. Oh, King Henry. We need to add King Henry and Queen Alice to this. So I guess I'll have to get King Easton to do that. Um, so we are going to, and like, see, this is actually limiting us to ever creating another world because I can't, like, I, I know I've, I don't think I've actually had a gathering of the kings and queens with you guys, but maybe we'll do that at some point. Um, but yeah, it's kind of limiting us to even have another gap, like another world or another kingdom because we only have enough spots in the club for eight, which would be all the kings and queens from the four kingdoms. So, ooh, the four kingdoms have a nice ring to it. I feel like that's like a movie or something somewhere. Okay, so Queen or Princess Cora still has not had a baby yet, so I don't know what is taking so long with her. Oh my gosh, Princess Alice is, or Princess Anna is just crying her eyes out. And then King George is here, that's so sad. I need to can invite to feel baby. This is, would be his grandchild. He didn't even get to see his other grandchildren. That makes me so sad. I like that they come back as ghosts, though, so you can, like, kind of get to know them a little bit, but still, I feel like I don't know. I wish he got to see more of his grandkids because he only got to see the first one. So, how are they doing, by the way? I think that 
The baby should be turning into, like, a, a toddler soon. They are crying. Someone needs to feed them. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure that Princess Amira should be changing into a toddler soon. Um, and then Princess May would be very shortly behind her. Okay, so now Princess Cora is giving birth. So we're going to send her to the hospital alone. Prince, no, Princess Cora cannot go to work. She's having a baby. Can't you guys be sympathetic about that? Okay, so, yep, we're going to send her alone. Um, just because I don't think you guys want to see all, all of that. Um, it just takes so long when we go. I know they, like, oh, no, did she wet herself? Goodness gracious. All right. Okay, she should be okay now. Where, what? They say they're at the hospital now. They are not at the hospital now. Princess Cora, go to the hospital. Princess May is very hungry. I am going to, if no one else is going to take care of these babies, then I'm just going to because this is ridiculous. Princess, our Queen Alice is not being a very good mother right now. She is just standing there while her babies are crying behind her. Do something. Oh gosh. Reset. Because you should be doing something about your kids. This is ridiculous. Um, bottle feed. Oh, it looks like she was trying to go to work. I do not know what's happening. I don't know why people are being glitchy and people are freezing. So hopefully that doesn't happen for too much longer. And then Queen Elena can just stop looking in the mirror. Everyone? Okay, everyone's hungry. Jeez. I do not have time to take care of all these people. They need to take care of themselves. So for just fill the needs of everybody. Um, okay. Princess Cora is having her baby. Oh god, I'm excited! Oh, I kind of do wish we were seeing it, but they just take way too long at the hospital to have the baby, so I don't want to have to deal with all of that. So, hopefully... What? Prince Edmund, you're supposed to be... Uh... Okay. Oh, good! Okay. So we just had a baby boy. So I did have another name requested uh, by Diamond Lover. Um, so she's one of our viewers. So thank you so much for all the suggestions. Um, she suggested uh, Lewis for one, spelled L-E-W-I-S. I, I like that. I think I'm just going to do L... Uh, hold on, let me just... I have to type this so I can spell it. L-O-U-I-S. Um, so it's basically the same name. Um, I just, I think that this would kind of be the way that they spell it. So thank you, Diamond Lover, for suggesting this. Um, so we're going to go with that. So we have Prince Lewis of Willow Creek. Um, oh my gosh, she had twins. Oh, okay. Um, so, well, I guess I have to pull out one of the other names. Um, I do remember someone else suggesting other names. So let me just pull this up really quickly. Okay, so this was another name suggested by Gryffindor Fanboy Dash Harry Potter. Um, so we are going to go with the name they suggested is Jack. Um, so we're going to go with Prince Jack. Um, so yes, we have two. We have twin. Oh no! She had triplets. Oh my gosh! Oh gosh! Okay. Um. Okay. So we have a baby girl now. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe we had triplets. This is a first. I've never had them have triplets before. So this is crazy. So we, I guess, are going to have... Um, I, I have to pull up the baby girl names now that you guys suggested. So, um, so this is kind of a mix between two suggestions. So Fire Princess Hino, she suggested a um, for a girl for her name to be, for one of the babies to name be, oh gosh, for one of the babies name to be Belle. Um, and she actually suggested that for Alice's baby. Um, and I, I should have done that. So I apologize because I know they had two girls. Um, and I, I completely forgot about the suggestion until now. Um, so hopefully she will also look like Belle because her father has brown hair. So maybe she will end up with brown hair. Um, so I was going to go with Belle. But then someone just suggested also to have a baby named after their mother, Isabel, um, which actually, and like, I can't name her Princess Isabel because that's too long. So I'm going to name her Belle, but her real name is going to be Isabel. So it's technically Belle for, sure, uh, for short. Um, so I will kind of figure out later if maybe I will change her name to Queen Isabel later on. Um, but yeah, so we have Princess Belle of Willow Creek. And now we have triplets. Oh, gosh. Oh, I was not expecting triplets. 
Um, I'm going to follow Princess Cora home, so we are going to check up on these triplets. So we are now back at the Palace of Willow Creek, and now we just have three screaming babies in our nursery. Uh, so I, this is just going to be a lot. I'm glad we have our butler. I'm glad the grandparents are still alive so they can help us out with this too because this would just be way too much. Oh my gosh, do you see that? Princess Cora already has a headache. I just saw like, uh, like sonic waves coming out of her head or something like that and she was like rubbing her head. So here comes Grandma to the rescue. Please, please, Grandma, take care of these screaming children because Princess Cora is just tired. Um, so I actually have invited over like our kings and queens group. I still haven't added King Henry or Queen Alice to it yet because I haven't played with uh, the Oasis Springs family yet. So I will need to do that next. Um, and then for the next episode, we'll try to focus on them as well because I'm pretty sure that Prince Adrian, he should be an adult soon. Um, but yeah, we have invited over the kings and queens because I was trying to get Queen Nina here. I think the next episode, she's also going to be having her baby. Um, so we will get to take a look at that. I'm still debating if King and Queen, uh, King Henry and Queen Alice should have another baby. I feel like I do want another baby for them. They probably would want a boy. Uh, so, well, I mean, I mean, I'm totally fine with a female being the heir to the throne. I just feel like they would still want a boy just to have, like, at least a few of each. Um, so they'll probably try for another child. And then we will definitely have Queen Nina having her kids in the next episode as well. Hopefully just one kid. I do not think I can take more twins or triplets. It's just way too much at the moment. Um, I was seriously not expecting Princess Cora to give birth to triplets. She has got to be so, so tired. Oh gosh, they look so creepy right now. Okay, there we go. Um, so yeah, we will definitely have to... Um, I'm going to just have Princess Cora meet... Uh, Queen Nina. It will honestly probably be a long time until Princess Cora and Prince Edmund become uh, king and queen. Um, I think that they, like the, uh, what is it, uh, King Derek and Queen Elena, they like just recently turned into elders. So unless they surprisingly die like Queen Isabel and freeze from the cold, oh my gosh, look at Princess Cora's dance moves. This is hilarious. I did not, ooh, whoa. I did not think that she would be that crazy with her dance moves. Um, anyway, yeah, so it'll probably be a while before they become king and queen, unless the king and queen of Willow Creek unexpectedly die for some reason. Um, so we'll probably hold off for a while for the coronation ceremony. Right now, it will probably just be like a bunch of baby episodes coming up because they're all just having their baby. Princess Anna, we still need to focus on her as well and see what she's, or what the future is or what the future has in store for Princess Anna. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, so we will definitely focus on those in the next few episodes. But I'm going to stop this video here um, so you guys can and we can end this with Princess Cora's wonderful dancing. Um, and then don't forget to subscribe and comment any suggestions and don't forget to share this video with your friends. And we will see you guys the next episode.